We are at the Obelisk of Theodosius in the middle of the, the Hippodrome. The Obelisk was originally set up by Tutmosis III from Egypt, close to 1450 BCE, along with a similar one in front of the temple of Amun-Re at Karnak, which, which we uh, have studied. Inscribed on this obelisk is an Egyptian hieroglyph, hieroglyph script, still clearly distinguishable. The script reads that it was in his father's honor. He erected an obelisk at Karnak and a monument in Mesopotamia. Descriptions of the Pharaoh and Amon Re are also featured on it. Several obelisks were transported from Egypt to Rome. It was Constantine the Great who displaced this one in order to de decorate his new capital. Yet the delivery took a long time for unknown reasons and it was actually during the reign of Theodosius I that the, the obelisk was re-erected in its current place here in the middle of the Hippodrome. It now stands, it's about 20 meters tall, which is shorter in, um, than and most probably only two-thirds of its original size. The base has been smoothened uh, with an eventual gash up one of the hieroglyphs in the middle and it may be that the monument was broken or deliberately damaged to take take off the, the, the burden of transporting it to a certain degree. Um, it's placed on a marble pedestal on two sides of the main part. There's an inscription in ancient Greek and Latin featuring on all four faces are the hieroglyphs. The base of the pedestal got buried uh, in time during the Ottoman area due to the rising ground level, which was excavated and unearthed in 1857. And the, the scenes on the pedestal that will take depict chariot races with the emperor in attendance. So let's take a closer look at this. About 4,000 years old. And here it is. It's pretty amazing as I stand here to think that, that this is only two thirds of its original sign. And if you can see this, it's really bright and sunny today, and so I'm just not sure how much of this you're able to see. But this is right in the middle of the Hippodrome, right here in Istanbul, Turkey. Feels like it's the center of the world, and really at one time it was, and we'll be talking a little bit more about that.